friends. Happy Wind Down Wednesday. I'm so glad you're here with us this evening. Find someplace cozy to sit and we will get started. It's Fire Prevention Week. We have been learning in class about how firefighters help us stay safe. And it's so important that we learn from them about how we can be safe from fire. How to prevent or stop fires from happening is really important. We're going to go on a special class trip to learn even more about how to stay safe and what to do if there ever were to be a fire. Now, I was looking at all of the books that I have and I found just the right book to read to you this evening. In fact, there is a student in class who mentioned that they are a very big fan of these books that I'm going to be reading one of. Um, there's a specific character in the book that he's a fan of. I will give you a clue. The character in the book is a cat and its name begins with the letter P. Do you think you know? what book I'm going to be reading. It's called Pete the Cat, Firefighter Pete. Pete the Cat, Firefighter Pete. I thought this would be just the right book to read because a student in class enjoys these books and because we're learning about firefighters. We are going on a class trip today, says Principal Nancy. She leads the class to a bright yellow bus. Everyone climbs on board. I wonder where we are going, says Pete. Do you have a prediction, which is a guess using the clues about where they could be going? They are going to visit the firehouse today. The bus parks next to the bright red firehouse. Pete and his classmates are excited. Give a connection wiggle if you are excited about visiting the firehouse. The firehouse is huge. It's so big, it can hold two long red fire trucks and all of the firefighters equipment. We learned about some of the equipment that firefighters wear to help them stay safe. The firefighters show the kids around. They give everyone a turn to ring the old brass fire bell outside the firehouse. Ring! Then all the kids take turns sliding down the firefighter's pole. Wee! Callie yells as she glides down. The firefighters allow the kids to try on their gear. Firefighters wear a lot of equipment. First, Pete puts on the heavy black overalls. Then he steps into the tall black boots. A firefighter helps Pete put on the heavy yellow jacket. Finally, they place a hard black helmet on Pete's head. All this gear is very heavy. Pete can barely move. The firefighters allow the kids to explore one of the fire trucks. Callie sits in the driver's seat. She presses the horn. Bark! It's so loud that all the kids cover their ears. Everyone cover your ears. Oh, this is one of those books with stickers. We know those are always really fun to have in books. Then Pete turns on the sirens and lights. The sirens blare. Ooh -ee, ooh -ee. The lights flash red and yellow. Have you ever seen a fire truck drive by? Suddenly, a loud bell rings in the firehouse. Uh-oh, it's the fire alarm. There's a fire in town. Gear up, Pete. The fire alarm is going off. 
the firefighters scramble, which means they move quickly, into their gear very quickly. He puts on his gear too. They all climb aboard the fire truck and turn on the siren and lights. Firefighter Pete and the firefighters are on their way. The fire engine races through town and the lights flash round and round. A firefighter presses the horn. Burr. Have you ever heard the horn of a fire truck? All the other cars move out of the way. There's the fire. It's hot and loud, but the firefighters know exactly what to do. They work together as a team to connect the fire truck to the fire hydrant. We discussed how the hose connects to the fire hydrant to get the water. Then the firefighters also attach a long, heavy hose to the fire truck. Firefighter Pete gives the signal and the firefighters turn on the water. Whoosh! The water gushes out very fast. Several firefighters must hold the hose to control it. Pete helps direct the hose as they spray the fire with water. The fire is starting to go out. There is smoke everywhere. Suddenly, Pete hears yelling from the roof. Oh no, it's Grumpy Toad. He needs to be rescued. The firefighters raise a long ladder from the truck. Crank, crank, crank. The ladder goes up and up and up. Firefighter Pete and another firefighter help Grumpy Toad climb down the ladder carefully. Yay! The fire is out and everyone is safe. The firefighters drive back to the firehouse. They take off all their gear. They pat Pete on the back and say, Good job, Pete! Firefighter Pete helped save the day. The end. And here are some other books about Pete the Cat if you really enjoyed this story. Thank you so much for reading with me this evening. I'm excited to continue to learn with you about firefighters and how to stay safe. Have a great night. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.